Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in once again for another great tele session. So today we're going to be going over a different type of monitoring relay that we offer and we're really proud of because it's such a great function. But before we go over uh, that specific product, we're just going to be going over how our liquid level monitoring uh, works with Tele and how we implement that kind of technology and how some of our probes work. So thank you so much for tuning in today and then definitely leave your comments and likes below if you guys have any questions you guys know where to reach us but we'll get started and just uh, tune in welcome back so thank you so much again for joining so conductive liquid level sensing excited to go over this with everyone and you know going over the basics of how this technology is implemented in a lot of pumps and tanks so we'll be going over that with you guys. So let's go over the basics first. So level detection, you know, it plays a major role, especially when you're controlling pumps and, you know, trying to figure out and make sure that, you know, the liquids in any tanks are efficient and making sure it's being detected for the protection of your equipment. In this case, we have what's called, you know, what we call one of our probes, the SK-1 is a very, you know, very detailed and very efficient uh, probe that definitely helps out with uh, protecting your equipment. So we detect fluid levels, you know, by looking at a connection between two immersed probes that sense, you know, the connectivity uh, through the fluids or a small, through a small amount of current that is applied. And, you know, those conductive liquids that we normally work with are wastewater, clear water, uh, coolants, beverages, uh, chemicals. So we, you know, it's a variety of different ways that uh, this probe works. I mean, it's stainless steel, so it's definitely very helpful to, and you know, don't have to worry about you know it, it breaking down on you while it's trying to protect your equipment. So some of the con uh, conductive uh, level sensing with Tele, how that works. So we have an example here. So once we, you implement it and connect those, uh, you know, with the probes that are in your tank, for example, that's uh, that's going to monitor those liquids on there, you know. There it shows you how it's connected from the relay and how those are implemented. One reference probe you can see on there, plus two probes for level detection sensing current, you know, can pass through a conductive liquid. And, you know, how, do, how does it look? How do the probes look uh, compared to all the other ones out there? And there it is. It's very simple and very efficient for you. Okay, so what are the, some of the advantages of, you know, conducting those level sensing with Tele is that, no electronic components, don't have to worry about any additional accessories or anything like that, it has no moving parts. Uh, usually those moving parts, we, you know, if you're familiar with float switches, those are some of the things that, you know, it moves a lot for you and, you know, you have to, you know, depend on additional things to make sure that that's actually detecting and, you know, sensing the liquids. Uh, in this case, don't have to worry about that. It's immune to pressure. It's immune to dust or smoke. So even while it's working, it don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Um, and it's adjustable to sensitivity as well. So one unique application example, as we can see on there, you know, detection of separate layers between uh, an insulating liquid, uh, example, oil and water. In the diagram on the right, you can see where the oil is and where the water is, just a, a example of how the probe would work. Now, how do these probes work? So we have the SK-1 that's, you know, it's stainless steel, measures voltage for up to 24 volts. Um, you know, it's just one, but then if you want more than one, you're going to need, you know, an additional probes, the SK2 and SK3 work on there for you. So one of the things that we let our clients know when, you know, you're going to be using our probes is that, you know, even though it's going to help detect the level, you know, depending on what position you put it in, that's how it's going to work for you. But it doesn't continue to monitor the levels between probe positions. So always make sure that wherever you're going to place those probes, you place them where you want it, uh, where you want to monitor the, the liquid for you. Now, one of the great things about the accessories is that, you know, we have those liquid level monitoring products. In this case, there is a product line series that we'll go into detail in these coming up videos for right now. But, you know, just to get a sense of, you know, we offer those products where, you know, aside from the probes, which is one of our accessories, we offer those liquid level monitorings as well that can go on your PLCs and definitely, uh, you know, implement that technology and, the, and make it more efficient for you, okay? 
Now, if you guys want any additional details, a uh, data sheet, or you know, give us a call or send us an email at sales at tele-controls.com uh, and or simply just leave a comment below and we'll definitely get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you for tuning in for another great session and we'll see you guys next time.